Okay, fourth grade, I know I just zoomed with you and I wanted to do a real quick demonstration. So your first job is to watch the last video talking about the border. Please remember your border is Sharpie and marker. Okay, please, please, please remember that. We want our colors to be bright and vibrant. And the marker really, really stands out. And especially when you use that Sharpie, it also just makes it clean and crisp. Okay, so on your paper today, Make sure your name, I would suggest putting your last name because your tile is going to be hanging at Heim Elementary for years to come. So it is a great way to honor you, your name, people always remember, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm hoping you can see with a pencil and I just wanna show you with a pencil so that you can then, if you choose to use a pencil, you can go in with a Sharpie later. So with your pencil, I was talking about how you wanna look in your mirror, think about the shape of your face Okay, make a nice U shape to begin. I don't know if you can see it, maybe I'll just, but if when you do go with a, a pencil, what's nice is you can erase and change things, but then you're gonna outline, outline with your Sharpie. I'm gonna draw two lines to represent my neck, and I'm gonna take my shoulders right to the edge of my border. Okay, think about your shirt collar. If it's a curve, if it's more of a V-neck, go ahead and show um, a line to represent like your neck and your skin versus your color of your shirt, okay? So after you think about your head, and notice I'm doing everything really big. I wanna fill up this square. Then I will do my hair. This is where you all will want to look in the mirror or a picture of yourself and think about how you wanna represent yourself with the best hair, whether you're wavy hair, curly hair, short hair, bangs, Okay, think of you. This is your self-portrait. All right, so my hair is just straight and like to my shoulders, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is find where my eyes go. So I'm gonna find the middle of my head, all right, and that's where my eyes will go. I like to do a football shape. Now I know in the past I have some fourth graders that like to do more like that anime eye. If you wanna do that, that is fine. This is your self-portrait. I'm actually gonna put some eyelids, eyelashes, that big iris that I was talking, that's where your eye color goes. So that's this circle. Okay, you have your whites of your eyes. That circle, that's where the color of your eyes, brown, um, green, blue, hazel. And that's why I also like to use colored pencils. So if you need to mix some colors, you can. All right, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I can go and put the pupil in my eye. All right, so I have my eyes. Then I'm going to think about my nose. This is another thing, feel it, feel your nose. Is it more rounded, is it more pointy? Okay, I like to use a line because our nose is not a perfect shape. It's not a big triangle, okay, because our nose is actually blends in with our face. So just to make it pretty simple, I'm just doing a um, kind of a hook for my nose. Mine's rounded towards the end. You can think about your mouth. I talked to you in our Zoom. You could do a smile, you could show teeth, um, you could, I guess, have a sad face. Hopefully you don't. I hope you're happy in your picture. Okay, so I'm gonna go and make mine, okay? And my um, ears go between my eye and my mouth. I'm gonna put those in there. This one eye is a little sleepy looking, but it's all right. I'm gonna put my earrings, and I'm pretty happy with that, all right? And like I said, if you want to put a hair bow, earrings, necklace, those are all little accessories. All right, then when you go in and start coloring, make sure that you're going in small coloring strokes as you're working. So my hair is a real dark brown. So I'm using colored pencil so I can be nice and smooth and also I can go in and layer a little bit of a darker brown or a black in with my hair. So I always start with the lighter color first. I'll do that with my skin as well. If you do not have a color for your skin, if you only have a 12 pack of colored pencils, you can use a crayon. I know everyone has different art materials right now. So when you get to your skin color, 
that might be something you may need to use crayon for and that's totally fine. So real quickly, I'll show you, I have the brown, oops, oh, hold on, I dropped it. Okay, I can then come in, I'm not gonna do a ton, but I can just fill in some of those little areas with a little dark brown um, when I think about my eyes I have so I have uh, how many I have a 36 piece of color pencil so there's a lot of different browns there's light brown dark brown my eyes are more of a lighter brown I guess it depends on the light too so I'm gonna make sure they're nice and solid think about my mouth and if you do lips just think about your lip color Okay, I don't tend to wear lipstick, so for me, I'd probably just do them like a peachy pink color if I had lips. In my picture, I just did more of a smile. So you can see how I'm working really, really carefully in here. With my skin, remember your ears. Oh, this isn't sharpened. Okay, remember your ears, your face, and your neck should all be um, the skin color. Let me sharpen my pencil real quickly. So when I come in and work, so this is way too light. My skin, I mean, some people have skin that's very fair, especially after the summer. Mine's a little bit more on the tan side just from being outside so much. So what I like to do is do some combinations of color. All right, so then I could come in with, and there's actually, I even have a lighter. So like I said, think about what your materials are. If I go nice and lightly with this real light brown, it kind of gives me a little bit more accurate skin color. And I'm going nice and lightly. Try to fill in all those white areas. Okay, so that's just an example on my neck, and then I would work in my face too. All right. So you're gonna work on your self-portrait and then your background. You can do any type of background you want. Um, oh, let me just mention the shirt as well. I'm gonna do blue. I'm not wearing a blue shirt today, but blue is my favorite color. So I'm going to have some fun. Around my name, I want people to see it. So I'm just gonna color around it. I would stay away from patterns, like words on, I mean, I guess you could do a striped shirt, but I would stay away from words on your shirt because it might get so small, it's hard to see when they make your tile. Because your tile is gonna be only four inches by four inches. Right now this is eight by eight. Okay, so small strokes to then blend in. All right, so I'd keep working on that. So let's just say you want to do a background. I'm gonna choose a color I haven't used yet. So maybe I wanna do diagonal lines. You don't have to use your Sharpie in the background. This can just be with colored pencil. So if I wanted to do stripes, I could do stripes. Um, I'm gonna actually do another green just a different one so this is an idea if you want to do horizontal like color blocking totally fine all right I wanted just to show you if you wanted to do that burst that I showed you in our zoom what you do is you start with one color all right and you start from the inside go out inside out and you just keep fanning around kind of like a big sunburst or starburst not the candy <laughs> all right then I can come in with my pink and you can do any colors you want I'm just choosing pinks and blues and purples and so I keep going all the way out. And so before, if you want to do this, grab a piece of computer paper, notebook paper, and just practice. 
right? These are all skills that with a little time and a little practice, you can definitely master. Okay, you do not have to do this method. It's just an idea. Kind of gives you that firework idea. All right, so this week, your goal is to get your border completely done. And then by next week, you should be starting your self-portrait. I know some of you are missing the paper. I will make sure I give Miss Berger some extras, but hopefully this helps all of you. I would love to see your work in progress too. So post it on the Padlet page. That's a great way to show participation, great way for me to connect with you. All right, and have a wonderful day. Bye.